Hi, Heath. Hey, Ben. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. This is really a great looking place here. So who's this? This is Chloe. Hi, Chloe. This is a great little spot. Yeah, thanks. We've lived here for about two, two and a half years now, and we've been working hard on sprucing it up. Um, we're almost done with the uh, landscaping work, and now we're on to replacing this lamppost. Got it. Um, it's, it, <laughs> it needs it. It, it does. <laughs> it, it used to be a mailbox. Um, I've heard rumblings how uh, former owners used to make this a flower box. This is an electrician's nightmare looking at this quickly. So it was definitely a mailbox post that someone converted to hold a fixture instead of a lamppost. It's got a fixture hanging from it that's not supported properly. It's not the way it should be installed. It's a fixture that shouldn't be here. It's wide open to the top. It's going to fill up with water and, and cause a problem. We have a 120 volt splice inside of there instead of something safer like a landscape splice that's 12 volts. This is not what we want to have. This is dangerous. So we definitely want to try and clean this up a little bit. Yes. So um, yeah, we're looking to rip it out and put in a taller lamppost. And that's what led me to call you. Sure. Um, I'm not familiar with the electrical work, so I, I would need your help on it. Okay. Well, I think a good place to start is by taking this thing out of here and getting rid of it and hopefully forgetting about it. And then we'll grab the new post that you're looking at and go from there. Awesome. Let's do it. All right. Ben, this is a great looking post and lantern you have here. Thanks. We really like it. Yeah. So. Let's go over the components of this. So we have two basic components, even though there are several parts here on the table. We have the post, which in your case is going to consist of the main post that's going to go in the ground. We have a decorative base that slides over it. And then we have the cap that's going to mount to the top of this post. And this is going to allow the second portion of this, the lantern that you picked, to mount to the top of the post. These are usually just a standard three inch round fitting like this that most of these will adapt over so you can pick any lantern you like. Now, normally in a case like this, if we're installing something new, We'd have to call a utility locating service, dig a trench. We'd want to put a conduit in the ground, preferably 18 inches down, and pull the lines from the house over to where the post is going to go. But in this case, where you already have a post, a lot of this work has already been done for us. So in your case, we actually have an underground feeder cable or UF cable that's in the ground. So there's nothing wrong with having a UF cable buried like this and at the depth that it's at. But we want to make sure that it does have GFCI protection. So I'll make sure I add that before we're done. So what we need to do now is just remove the old one, start digging the post a little bit deeper, and get ready to set this. Great. So now that we turn the power off, we can go ahead and take the light fixture off and start getting this post out of the ground. So this shrub is a little too big to take out. So let's try and tie this back if we can. Beautiful. I'll just tie it off up there. I'm going to keep this out of the way. All right, now that we have the hole dug to the depth we want, we went about six inches deeper than what we want to do for the post. And the reason is we want to put a little gravel at the bottom so we have drainage so we don't get water building up there. Makes sense. Now that we have the hole all set, we're going to go ahead and set this, but we want to pay attention to how this goes in. We have two holes on this we have to watch out for. The first one up top, that's where the post comes through for the sign arm. We want to make sure that's facing out towards the street so the sign's facing the way you want. The second one, is down here, and this is actually for the wire, and they pre-installed a pull string for us. In this case, where the wire comes up, we want this being towards the back of the house, that way the wire's hidden. Something like that? Yeah, looks great. And now we can grab a shovel and a level, we'll start backfilling and pack the dirt down. All right, that's the last of the dirt. Let's see how it looks. Looks great there. And, and it looks, looks nice great. and plumb there, perfect. All right, now that we have everything tamped in and this is where we want it, we're gonna go ahead and grab the base that goes around this. We're actually gonna slide that from the top instead of the bottom. It was much easier to tamp the dirt in and fill this in without that in the way. And then just gently lower it down so we don't scratch anything up. Nice and gentle. And it's coming out of the top. There we go. Perfect. All right, and that is all you. Perfect. Now we can install the sign arm. Slide that through here. And through the other side. Now we'll grab the end cap, put it on the other side, and we'll screw it into place. That's in place. Let's free drill it. All right, and now let's install the support bracket. So if we want to clamp that into place. Okay. Nice and snug. Yep. 
perfect. And now we're going to pre-drill this and screw this in. And the final part to our post assembly is installing the top cap. All right, Ben, now that we've completed the installation and assembly of the post, it's time to deal with the wiring. And you're probably wondering why we left this piece out to begin with. Here's why. The wire is just a little bit too short to make it to the top, kind of like we thought. But we do have a solution, and I think you're going to like this. So what we can do is actually install a receptacle on the side, and then we'll run a new wire all the way to the top for the new lamp. This way, everything's long enough, we'll have an accessible splice, and you'll have a receptacle to use for holiday lighting. That'd be perfect. All right. There you go. All right, that's perfect, Ben. So we're gonna use this connector. This is for the UF cable. And what this does is it seals the cable and doesn't allow moisture to get inside past that. We wanna make sure that box stays sealed and dry. And it's gonna go something like that. So we're actually wearing gloves when we're handling this light fixture because the finish on this particular fixture is very oily. So if we were to touch it with our bare hands within the first couple of weeks of it being up, we'll actually leave a black spot where our fingers touched it. So we certainly don't want to have a bunch of fingerprints all over your brand new fixture. Lamp post looks great now that this is all done. Uh, I finished installing GFI protection down in the basement. That way this wire is protected and the receptacle is protected from inside like we need to. But there's one final touch we need to add to this. You ordered a sign for this post. Yeah, I thought Chloe would really love this. I think she will. Ah, it looks perfect. Yeah, thanks a lot, Heath. I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you, I think it looks amazing. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.